Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be uh, starting a new variety of tutorials. Don't worry, I will be continuing the forum tutorial just in some sooner times. Um, is what I'm going to do, I'm going to be covering basics of PHP and more advanced PHP to the development of learning PHP basically. Um, this will be done in sections, so section 1 will contain some basic things and um, section 2, etc, etc. Uh, this first tutorial I'm going to be creating is the basic PHP syntax. So is what I'm going to do, I'm going to open a PHP file, or create a new PHP file here, and um, the beginning part of PHP is learning how to open and close a block of code. So to basically create a block of code made of PHP, we start with the less than symbol, with question mark and PHP following it. And to close it, just put a couple breaks down and question mark and a greater than symbol. And if we're going to go here and save it, I'm going to create a new uh, folder here. I'm going to create a file called syntax.php. And now I can refresh this page and there's syntax.php. And as you can see, it's just a basic PHP page. Nothing on it just yet. Uh, also, syntax, variables. Variables start with a dollar symbol or dollar sign. Variables cannot contain hyphens or numbers as the beginning thing. Well, it can contain numbers, but not as the beginning. It cannot contain hyphens at all. So if I created a variable called uh, hyphen equals this, it's going to return an error. See, it's going to think that you're cutting off the block of code. So is what you need to do is just name it like hyphen equals this. And when we save it, we'll get no error. And like I said, you can't use numbers as the beginning, uh, as the first letter, as the first character of the variable name. As you can see, you'll get a, a new error here. You can, however, use underscores in numbers at the end like this and this will return no errors okay and now um, as you can see we're defining this variable as a string because we're surrounding it in double quotes double quotes can contain other variables so let's create a new variable called uh, var1 and this will be my name Marcus and then we're going to create a new variable called var2 equals there one. You can do that. And also, to end a PHP variable statement, you close it with a semicolon. Alright? And now what I can do, I can echo there too. Echo basically returns the information involved in that string out on the web page. So I'll refresh and I'll get my name, Marcus. And um, you can basically add uh, variables together. So if I rename this variable or keep it, or just redefine it actually. Um, I will put uh, makes videos like this. And now what I will do, I'll create a new variable called var3, and I'll do var1 plus var2. This will basically add the strings together and make it equal to var3. So now we're going ahead and echo var3. Zero. Oh. Okay, that's one common error. It's basically going to try to add the strings together. So what you need to do for var3 is you need to add them together using the dot sign, like so. Like that. See, there's not going to be a space in between there because there's no space there. But if I add a space here, there you have it. Alright, um, now we've gone through strings, such as these. And now we can make floats, which are numbers with a decimal at the end of it. They can be negative or positive. So we'll go negative 4.3. And we'll create var2 equals positive 2.1. And now we go ahead and add these. So var3 equals var1 plus var2. And this answer should give us 2.2, negative 2.2. 
when we echo it, actually. So let's go ahead and echo very 3 like so. Refresh our page, and we have negative 2.2. And you could also su subtract these if you wish. And you have negative 6.4. You can multiply and divide as well. Easy as that. Now, um, another type of string, but is not also fully a string that has the same capabilities of double quotes, is using single quotes. So if I put a variable in here, and I'm going to name, I'm going to put Marcus back in, and I'm going to do uh, var2 equals makes videos. I'll put a space in here. And now is what I'll do. I'll do var3 equals I know this person. I'll put a comma and I'll put var1 inside of it. What it really is going to return when I echo it out, it's going to return I know this person comma. It's actually going to print the dollar sign var and 1. So I'll refresh. Did I not echo it? Weird. Anyways, there you go. See? Um, to, to fix this, we end the actual statement here, and we put the little period there. This will add the strings together. I know this person, Marcus. There's no space there, so we'll put a space. And we'll go ahead and put var2 here. And now we have, I know this person, Marcus, makes videos. Hmm. Pretty simple. Now, another type of syntax is using PHP and HTML together separately, though. What I mean like that, we could do PHP, echo bold, like so, and we'll end the PHP like this. And then we're going back to flat HTML here. So I'll write um, YouTube, like so. And then I'll go ahead and open our PHP tags again, and we'll end the bold statement, like this. Alright, and we'll save this, and we'll refresh. And you'll see, it's just going to act like plain HTML. PHP also has the ability to echo plain HTML right inside of it. So I go like, like, like this. There you have it. Save it. And it's going to print the same thing. Um... Another uh, type of syntax is uh, escaping uh, quotes. So is what I'll do. I'm going to do this. B style equals. This is just an example for now. YouTube and the bold. Okay, we're going to get an error here. Okay, it's a constant escape string. That means we have to escape these strings. To escape a, a why am I saying string? A quote. We put a backslash in front of it, like so. So now inside of these, we could put uh, color equals red. And then we'll go ahead and refresh. And there you have it. And when we view the source of this, it's just going to be like this. It's going to have the quotes escaped. And uh, that also works with single quotes. So we'll go ahead and do that. B style equals color number, let's do pink. All right. Uh, YouTube, and we'll end it. Refresh. Now you have a pink. It's uh, basically pretty easy, actually. It's just uh, whether or not you want to use it or not. Another style of es of uh, escaping variables inside of strings is doing this. So let's create a new variable. So I'll call it var1 equals. We'll use uh, we'll use my name, I guess. We'll go ahead and do this. We'll echo this person makes videos. We'll put bold here and like this. See, I'm basically ending the echo statement and then adding my variable inside of there and restarting the echo statement. So I'm going to save this and refresh our page. There you go. This person makes videos. Bold. And in the source, you have just this. Okay, another basic type of syntax is uh, using new line breaks. So we'll go ahead and echo, hello, and what I'm doing, I'm going to escape the letter N, like so. The N means new, new line, and we'll do hello, again. 
you're not going to notice any changes in the HTML except for the little space there. But when you view the HTML here, you're going to see it's actually going to a new line. This, can, this helps when organizing your code through the HTML process. Basically what we're doing here is typing this like that and we'll refresh the page. It's going to be on one line because it's not in a preformatted text. Alright, um, next is uh, we can use if statements and they can cut off and start over. So is what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a variable, so there one, and I'm just going to set it to true. This is a constant. True is a constant. True, false, and null are constants. And uh, we'll do this. If there one, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to end the PHP here, I'm going to restart it down here, and I'm going to end it right there. And outside of here, right here, I'm going to do um, variable is set. And now here I'm just going to do an else and I'm going to cut off the PHP again and restart it again. Variable is not set. So we'll go ahead and save this and check it in our browser. There you have it. And when you view our source it's just variable is set. And if we go ahead and change this to false it doesn't have to be completely capitalized or null you can be all lowercase if you wanted to. There you go. Or you can set it to zero. See, if you do set it to one, though, it has a value. So it's set. Um, next is uh, using variables in predefined variables as they are reserved. If you do this, echo server remote address, like so, it may or may not give you an error. Okay, it's just going to print my uh, my localhost IP. But if you have error reporting on all, then it should give you a variable about a reserved variable. Here, I will show you. So what you have to do is we got to start a uh, new. Uh, hang on, what what am I trying to say? Uh, trying to set a new variable def definition though. So. There's a function here called error reporting, like this, and inside of it we do e underscore all, like that. Save it, and you're going to go with this error. It's going to say an use of undefined constant. It's trying to assume that you mean this, though, which will give you no error. Simple. But what if you really wanted to do it like this? Okay, we'll go ahead and put IP inside of this. And we're going to define IP like this, and we'll put remote address. Let's see how this turns out. There we have it, printing my IP. And if we have error reporting on e all, not going to get an error because IP is in fact defined. Okay, well this covers uh, basic PHP syntax. And uh, this video will definitely be available in high definition. Um, all right, and I uh, hope you subscribe to see the rest of these videos. There should be at least 20 more. If not, maybe more or less. Who knows? But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.